What's going on guys, Linus here, and welcome back to Civilization 6 as the Kree. Uh, everything is nice and peace- wait a minute, it's not peaceful at all, there's- there's war. There's- what's go- what? War? That's what evil people do. Well, we're war with the Dutch, uh, Greece decided to get involved, but they're really, really dumb. And they've suicided every single one of their units into Dutch territory, which is actually pretty fine by me. Um, because their military score is way down now, and so is the Dutch, so... Uh, we're now moving on Coca-Cola, which is not how you pronounce that, but I don't know how you do pronounce it, so I'm just gonna call it that. We're advancing on it, we're gonna take it, and then from there we're gonna go up uh, north. Just passing by, what are you talking about? We're, we're allies. We're allies. We're allies, dude. Eh, I'll pay, whatever, it's worth it. So, because this is a military alliance, we're actually getting combat bonuses against, um... Against the Netherlands now, so that's pretty good. It's, uh, it's honestly not bad. Alright, now we do need to roll up with all of our beautiful catapults. And just, uh, put them to actual use, because right now they're just kind of sitting there. Oh boy. Roll them up. Roll, ev roll everything on up, basically. Uh, library, as always, we are still trying to go for science because we're like slightly behind the Dutch in terms of science. Uh, this war is one of the ways that we can fix that. I don't know where they're getting this, but I do know that I want to stop them from spiraling completely out of control. And obviously one way to do that is just completely murder the person that is uh, doing really well. I know it's evil, but I don't care. It's fine. I'll do evil stuff. As long as the price is right, I'll do anything. I don't care. Uh, let's go to mine? Sure, mine. Mines are good. Mines are pretty dope. So we've also been sort of improving the land around our cities, which has done us a lot of good. We're actually looking at, um, pretty mostly content people now. Um, see, they're all pretty happy. Which is great. They also have a lot of resources to work with. We got lots of production. Our catapults are being completely obliterated here, which is just beautiful to see. Can we? Oh god, okay, well we gotta hit the city. I mean, we gotta take out these walls and we gotta do it pretty soon. Pretty soon. Go over there, you go over there. I mean, we'll be able to do this, but it's- we're taking, like, a, a bunch of damage, which I d definitely don't love. Now, we do want to make the Oxford University, because that gives you a flat, uh, 20% extra science, two free technologies, and it has slots for a bunch of different things. So, getting the Great Library is- or the Oxford University is really good. So, we'll be focusing on a bit of growth for the capital, and then in the meantime, we'll be building the, um, the Oxford University. Uh, let's see, right, so we, t we, st we took this city from Mongolia, and as such it doesn't really have the, um, the districts that I would personally make. Uh, so we're just gonna make the best out of what we got here. Mm, if we just slam into those walls... This one's pretty good, like, the pikeman is, is, like, ahead of his time right now. We can almost take down the walls. So close, though. So close. We're just gonna do whatever damage we can. Like, the more of their cities we take, the weaker they're going to be, obviously, so... We're just gonna get to work on that. Um... I feel like we should chop this down. Because this would be a pretty good farm. Or is this a hill? Uh, no it's not, so we're gonna chop it down. Trader is ready to go. Now we can make a campus as well. Uh, sadly, the campus is not really not gonna be that good. Because there's no agency bonuses, but at least they can make it in like, what was it? Yeah, 14 turns, which is, that's manageable. So we're gonna put it right, actually maybe there's better. Ah, eh, put it there. Put it there. Let's see, where should we trade? I'm thinking a road from here would be pretty nice. Mas Mascatu. And then in the capital, Laventa wants to trade. Yeah, so let's oblige them. At least for right now. Um, 
do we want to get a lumber mill there? Is that really the main... I mean, I guess, you know, it's not bad or anything. It's just not amazing. Uh, but sure, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'm down. Yeah, their military scores are like really, really low. Yeah, they went after the catapult, which is what I was hoping they'd do, and they actually did it, which is pretty sweet. What's up, dude? Nice walls. And they're gone. Wow, really? Apparently the garrison is putting up quite the fight. Okay, you know what? Let's just heal up. There's no reason to just sort of suicide on in here. We'll just sort of take that slow and we'll sort of heal up a little bit because the walls are gone and we're not going to be able to fix them before we take the city, so... Uh, we're going to take a little bit of time there. I mean, a bank wouldn't be bad. It's a lot of gold. We do need a lot of gold to, to achieve our, our dreams, so let's do that. Uh, grants two loyalty per turn for the city if we retire. Okay, I'm going to keep that in mind. I mean, that's pretty good. It's not amazing or anything, but yeah, it's pretty good. Do I want to mecha wop? I feel like I maybe want to mecha wop. I guess on the hill is pretty good. Like, being next to a luxury gives you, what, one gold? Yeah, it's just one gold, so you don't necessarily have to be next to it. It's just a slight, very, a very slight boost to the effectiveness of the mech wop. It just not, it's not necessarily, like, super amazing because it's next to a luxury. It's a small bonus. Uh, we're trying to work those quarries there, which will give us a lot of faith. It's also going to give us a lot of money. Let's see. Yeah, so this city does need a road. I like the look of this, for sure. A lot of production, a lot of food, which is just what I like. Yeah, we got to hurry this up somehow. Don't know how, though, but yeah. Somehow, you know. 62 turns is really long. I mean, I think it's worth doing. It just, it, it takes forever. Okay, let's grab that. Let's fire. Let's get you over there. Let's, like, at least besiege the city. So that it can't simply heal back up. Alright, minor victory is, like, okay-ish. We can do better than that, though. I'm sure we can. Oh, you can fire twice. That's right. See, the weird thing is, they should be able to fire twice if they haven't moved, but they have moved. So I'm not sure how that works. It seems like that interaction is, is somehow bugged a little bit. And I'm not entirely sure how, but yeah, it's not entirely working uh, as they say it, it does. Which is interesting. Um, Just more mech wops, really. I love my mech wops. I don't know if I've mentioned it at any point during the series, but let me tell you about mech wops. I do like them ever so much. They're quite beautiful. And they give me lots of nice stuff. Um, also, we're trying to sort of beeline our way towards... Um, chemistry, so we can get research labs. Crazily enough, that gives us AT crews as well, which, if we actually upgrade our Pikeman into one of those, he's going to be pretty much invincible at this point in the game. He's going to be an absolute beast. We're actually going to get um, stuff like the Pike and Shot after we get AT crews. I'm not sure if that, if that actually works, because I've never done this before, but I figured let's give it a go, you know? That's pretty fun stuff. Okay, they do have pike and shots, which is very scary because those dudes are strong. Fire. 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 That's pretty much pretty much done. All right, we got that city, man. Uh, we're not going to keep it. I don't want to give it to Greece either though, so maybe we'll just raise it. We could also liberate it. That would be interesting. That would be the Mon that would bring Mongolia back into the game, but it would reduce some of my. I'm just gonna raise it. I'm gonna be a huge warmonger for now. I might regret this later. I might regret it a whole lot, but screw it. I really don't need Mongolia back in my life. Okay. They're toxic. They're a poor influence on me. 
I won't stand for that. I'm not going to let him just live uh, in my life. All right, they're about equal. Yeah, let's beat him up a bit. I think that's all right. I really just want them to stay away from me. Uh, that's pretty good. Sure. I do like having some, uh, some nice deals running that make people happy, even though they don't actually do anything, really. Kill. Okay, so... This guy is doing that, is he, though? Let's go heal. Alright, so we burned down the city. We are at war with Brussels and with um, Antioch, so we're just going to stay away from that. But we burned down the city, which is a good start. That means the Netherlands is now less effective. They have less whatever was in that city. I mean, they had sugar there. So, you know, less sugar, I guess? I don't know. Does that make them worse people? Probably. Oh, that would be devastating. Let's not. Let's not. All right, so we're probably going to make a mecha op here. The game's suggesting it. If the game suggests it, then you know it's good. Uh, what can you do? Yeah, let's get a let's get that pasture going. So far, so good. Oh, she is offering a lot of money. I'm going to say no though. She's getting real desperate. Oh, it's Georgia. Hello there. Tell me where you live. Oh, you live next to Korea. It's the Khmer. Hello? How are ya? What is this? Uh, it's a no for me. I kind of need my luxuries to, to make my, sure my people are happy. In diplomacy, there are two kinds of problems. Small ones and large ones. The small ones will go away by themselves. And the large ones, you will not be able to do anything about. Yeah, I wonder why I suddenly met those guys. I think I'm just going to keep what I have. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I actually suddenly met them. There we are. Another Pikin shot down. So let's just make sure that we send them some delegations or embassies, whatever. If we could be friends with them, that would be nice. Oh, they're actually friendly with the Dutch, so that's going to be an issue. And so are they. Okay, we got ourselves some different alliances um, popping up. Taj Mahal. Eh. It's not bad, I guess. I've never made it before. Yeah, this one I like. This one I like. Alright, let's do that. Um, Alright, so we're gonna move on to Hong Kong now. We're just gonna make sure the... Um, you're gonna have to run for your life, buddy. Uh, we just wanna make sure that these guys aren't following us because they're annoying. And we want to heal up as well. So you go heal up, and then you go heal up as well. You're ready. So we're just going to sort of recharge our army a little bit. Then we're going to move against the Netherlands. I hope that they don't have a ton of pike and shot, or that they don't have, like, renaissance walls everywhere. Um, because that could definitely turn this into a super slow and super boring war if they do. So I'm not really sure... I mean, they probably have medieval walls. Because their defense, it looks pretty high. They're also building pike and shots pretty much everywhere. So yeah, this will be a super annoying, super slow war, I would, I would expect. I'm not sure if it actually will be, but you know, it's just something that has definitely caught my attention. My pledge was broken. What do you mean? Where do I have troops on your border? You sack of garbage? Where? Tell me. Show it to me. So maybe we have to either bait out the uh, the Pikin shot and then take him out. Or we're just going to have to go for it. I'm not really sure what we're doing here. We'll just sort of figure it out as we go, though.
Okay, so this lady is legit insane. What a surprise. Wow. Georgia is nuts. Oh, she's friendly though. So is he. Why are they friendly? I'm a huge warmonger. I feel like they really should not be friendly with me, but here they, here we are. That's not a lot of damage. That's not a lot of damage. Also, why does this guy have three movement? I don't know. No clue. Alright, so we're just gonna heal up a little bit. Oh, she's offering me so much money. No. You must die. It is the only way. Oh, look at her military strength. That's like her last unit. That's actually pretty good. Get that library. Get that library going. So, then the question becomes like, if that's her only unit, what is this, dude? Oh, I just get sent back to your city? That doesn't seem fair at all. So you can just be super reckless with all your stuff and then, you know, don't even have to worry? Okay. Good to know. I think we might actually go after Rotterdam first because it's like, or, or uh, Leiden, because it's, it's right next to my stuff. So loyalty might not be too much of an issue. And, um... Let's see. And there's no units there because her only unit is right over there. So if we if we take him out, we're good to go. That's all she has. That's why she's so desperately offering me peace deals right now. It looks like we might actually have a pretty decent shot here. So the question is, do we go for Leiden or uh, Rotterdam? I think Leiden, just because it's it's much smaller. So there would be less loyalty issues. Yeah, let's make a harbor in the lake. That's a beautiful idea. Somebody give this man a prize for his beautiful ideas. I'm thinking maybe industrial. Industrial would be pretty good around here with all these quarries. If we put it right there, it's not bad. That's going to be a lot of production. Okay. Um... Right, so I guess what I've made up my mind. I guess I'm gonna go after that city first. She's got no units. So we can just sort of take our time. Go, get out, get. Um, we'll just sort of heal everybody up, and then we're just gonna march everything over there. And honestly, I don't think there's much that she can really do about it. She's got walls, and that's about it. What? What is this? This guy's just suiciding over and over. That shouldn't even be possible. We found a new continent. Wow. That's so cool. Alright, Karakorum. Aqueduct's actually pretty good here. Let's get go let's just get one going. All right, so we're just gonna get everybody over to that city, but we want infantry in the in the front to take the initial attack from the walls, and then the catapults go in slightly after that to um, to actually break down the walls. But she's got no army, so the sooner we take that city and we get look how big Amsterdam is, by the way, that's nuts. And because it's a capital, we should not be able to lose it, so that's something as well. Well, don't really need to trade with the Tusha anymore. I'd rather have more uh, production and food. At least for now, you know. Um... Oh, we could just straight up buy university for a thousand gold. Wow. I mean, I'm not doing it, but that's still pretty good. I feel like we should send in a battering ram. I've never used one before. I actually kind of want to check it out. No peace. What? What? We talked about this, lady. Yes, thank you for the embassy. It's ever so lovely. Yeah, we're going to actually catch up pretty quickly. Like, we're really far behind. That's because we're sort of beelining here. And we should be able to amend that uh, pretty easily. Still no army, so that's it. That, that's all that there really is. Look at all this support stuff. 
Whoa, look at that. I've never seen that before. It's a triangle. It's a triangle of death. Australia. That doesn't look like Australia at all. All right, so this might be connected somehow. Let's just assume that it is connected. I don't know if it will be, but you know, let's assume. All right, let's make an ass out of you and me and let's uh, let's see if that's true. Uh, you're stuck. Okay, go, go. You go there. This guy's can't do anything. Go there. All right, go. You go. And then you go. Yeah, we got quite the army built up. All right, so we got plans. We, we actually destroyed one of our cities, so... Let's call that our test run, and let's say that it went pretty well. We burned down one of our cities. And the roads are still there to remind us of, uh... Of the dangers of, um... You know, trying to beat me. Don't do it. It's bad for you. It's almost as bad as... Smoking. Don't even try, baby. Alright, anyway, I'm actually going to leave you here for now. In the next part, we're going to move against Lyda and then probably Rotterdam. Uh, basically try to eradicate the Dutch. Again, it feels a little bit weird killing my own people, but that's life. You know, sometimes you just got to... You just gotta turn your your eye on your own on your own people. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like because that would really help me out. And I'll talk to you guys in the next part.